the problem is, is like I would love to pull back my hair, but my forehead's so f big. Show us yeah. right now. Forehead. <laughs> Bruh. There it is. Forehead check. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Crew Podcast, the lowest rated podcast in the world. My name is Tuv, along with my co-host. My name is Brandon. My name is Cameron. And today we have a very special guest. He's a YouTuber, extremely talented musician, streamer, and most of all, your mom's favorite emo. Introducing Johnny Gilbert. Woo! Hey. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, which way? I'm Johnny Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, no, Mojo almost took your seat. I know, it's okay. You can scoot over, yeah. He'll, he'll, get, he'll get comfortable you know, with you. Readjust. There you are. So, a lot of you guys probably saw the Jake podcast, which is uh, doing super good right now. It's at 20,000 views. And that's really good for our podcast, by the way. <laughs> you get like, what, five normally? Yeah, three to five K. Yeah. So that is good then. That's fuck yeah. So first thing we uh want to talk about, first thing we should say, just like the Jake one, is how we met. We gotta explain to them how we met. Yeah. Christian Mingle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Farmersonly.com. It's so weird that we're both YouTubers and we met on there. <laughs> yeah. But it's basically the same story of how Yeah. It's I mean big, it's legitimately it's literally the it's same not even thing. Basically, it's I got invited by Jake to their house, so I went over and I doxed them and I posted the address yeah. on the internet. Yeah, that's now we, now we just have fans coming over all the time and trying to break in. Exactly. You know, awesome. Since we're on a podcast, you had a podcast. Oh God, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah what up. happened to that? Yeah, I looked like, it up. You had three episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I was just like lost and just felt like doing it for like a day, and then I stopped feeling like doing Damn. it. Damn. Maybe I'll do one though. I know Jake and I've like talked about doing one together. I think like like a. So oh, we were, like trying to do something legitimate, like that'd be sick. I can see that, bro. If they made a podcast, good. you got your numbers would be so fucking be, high. Yeah, it'd be cool, oh, yeah. but it's what? just hard because we just do so much content already together. I'm like, I mean, we would have things to talk about, but it'd be yeah, like, another thing to take on. So you guys do like, I think a bit of everything. Yeah, like yeah. even the live streaming, and you guys get really good concurrent viewers. It wasn't always like that, but yeah, I mean, it, like, I mean, I've been doing YouTube for so long at this point. I've had moments where they were low, and then moments where it's like. This is probably the highest it's been, honestly. Oh, really? I mean, I would say so. It's yeah. Like, I mean, I've this checked. It's been crazy. I've checked out your guys' views. It's like, damn, you guys get so many views based off personality. Yeah. Like, that's so difficult to do. I know you make uh, your personality based videos with Jake, and you also make your, I guess, commentary videos. Yeah. I personally like the commentary more. Yeah. That's why I try to do it. You know, I like to. I think it's more mature. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's why I do it. It's because, like, when I'm doing the videos, I do like doing the videos with Jake and Tara and all these people, but. Um, I always do like funny voices and stuff like that or say like stupid jokes, which is totally fine and has its place. But I really enjoy like almost like how I'm acting right here, too. It's is, nice yeah, to show that especially since I'm 26 now. It's like is your commentary know. video like was that is that your favorite form of content to make or no? Uh, it's just like everything. They both have their ups and downs, you know, because it's like with commentary stuff. It's really hard because I have to be myself and honest with also trying to be respectful of situations. Yeah. And I also want to be respectful towards the people I'm covering and I'm somebody that likes to allow people to grow and change and it doesn't really necessarily take away from the bad things people do but I like to address that in all the videos yeah, so. yeah. Um, you really are like a jack of all trades when it comes to you even do music yeah, like yeah I I personally think like I was listening to your music mm -hmm. just to get more in tune with what you make and stuff yeah I think I don't know if this is a popular opinion for your fans. No, no. I think it's. Shit. I think your acoustic stuff is better than like. I guess. Yeah, would it be like metal? Is that what you would call? Oh, it? I've done. Yeah, I've done some like more metally stuff. Because I know there's yeah. some where you're screaming, like your most recent feature yeah. with Young Scuff and yeah. and Jake. Yeah, you're yeah. screaming in it, right? Um, that might have been that might have been Scuff screaming in that one. I mean, I've screamed in some songs. And, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I like the calm stuff more. I mean, that's usually the the stuff like that is mostly usually written with somebody else like it's written with like my friends or whatever and the acoustic stuff or whatever i have some more stuff that's coming out that's more like electric guitar based but it's still very like similar to my acoustic stuff and that's like, okay that's usually just um writing on my own though when it comes to that stuff so okay other stuff is like more people helping me out but i think it's cool to like you said kind of do everything you know yeah like, dabble in all of it do you have like a favorite uh passion of yours like um, is it music sleeping 
<laughs> no, nah, I'm talking about like the the entertainment side, oh. like being a YouTuber, the streamer. Hey, people stream themselves sleeping. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Would you do that? Never. Uh, I think I have. Really? Like, really? Well, I've done like. How do you think you have? Ones. You don't yeah, remember? I've definitely have, but I had a hard time falling asleep. I've done like subathons, and I've done like. Oh, I started shit. originally before YouTube, and I was like twelve or so or thirteen. I started um on an app called You Now, and it was a live. Oh channel. my god, bro! So that's where you I now started doing streams. Before shit. YouTube. Um, my passion, like I guess, yeah, probably be music. Feels like you know the thing that I, especially nowadays with the stuff that I'm really like that's not out yet, but like I just did a music video yesterday, and I'm. Um, yeah i have one coming out the 22nd of this month and like i feel like i i there's a point where i had like a little bit more of like co-writing like help and stuff but now i've like figured out how to play a little bit more and kind of make it just 100 percent myself and um i think that's cool so I yeah it's not for everyone but you know when it comes to the music i think like this is what i how i think about it personally since i also we do a lot of the same shit actually yeah. we stream and well, I barely stream. I basically I barely got back I on know, three days ago. I saw that. I saw but uh, I do stream the YouTube videos. I guess the podcast. No, I guess. I, yeah, the podcast and the music. I always tell people, music is kind of becoming my favorite one, just because that's the one where I could be the most myself. When I'm doing commentary, I'm talking about other people. Yeah. No, so yeah. music is just like that's fully me. Yeah. Is it the same with you? Yeah. I mean, I think I think to be honest, I I like to do it all. So it's like. Everything has its place, and I feel like if I didn't, if I took away, like, I thought, like, what if music really blew up for me or whatever, would I still be doing YouTube? And it's like, there was a point where I wanted to stop YouTube and just be taken serious as an artist, I guess, because yeah, it has that thing where they're like, ah, you're a YouTuber or whatever. Um, but I, I would still want to, like, at least have someone, like, vlog in my life or something. I still want to be tapped in that way because I think, one, I like that as a viewer. Like, I like seeing people do the behind the scenes of yeah, music the creation or the touring. Yeah, and I think that's really important. It makes the music hit more. So I think everything, kind of, is really cool to see. And I, I wouldn't want to just do one thing. I guess. Do you get called like a YouTuber musician? I don't know. I, I don't think you do. I, I, I mean, when I think people take you pretty seriously when it comes to music. Uh, maybe. I mean, it depends if they like me. I guess. You do you, know? Yeah. Do you feel YouTuber artists get like the same respect as normal artists or no? I think it just depends on the person because there's there's definitely some people that um have gained the respect because it's been such a long period of time with youtube existing and yeah. music that initially it was like super written off but yeah there's still people that do get that kind of like treatment like if you know i'll, I'll name names uh like even like dream or charlie d'amelio or these people like you know that you know they happen to do a song which you know i don't even think those songs are necessarily bad or anything um they'll just get shit on though yeah the fact that they're seen as yeah. just an influencer people are so used to seeing them on tiktok and doing youtube they yeah doing anything yeah like and it's like um, it's really hard because I, I guess people want people to seem authentic with it and it's just kind of silly because it doesn't mean just because they have the opportunity to do music and get the help that they have that they're not able to um, genuinely feel like yeah to it and want to do it it's just they have tools that not everyone you know ha has I've yeah. been in that position like I can straight up tell you like I was just telling Johnny off camera like I'm barely getting respect for my music now like I've been making music for two years and now teasing a new song it's called hachigo mm. but teasing these new song people are like wait this is kind of good and you know i don't want to delete the comments because there's a top comment when there's like tough finally made a good song oh. and that's like top comment that's, that's, and it's like i don't want to delete it because like now i'm like it's like reassurance for me it's like it's not yeah it's i mean you could take it in a I mean, it's, it is kind of a backhanded compliment. It is, it, for it, sure. But it also is showing that somebody that was doubting you is yes. giving you time, which is exactly. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, I mean, I've been doing music since I was like 17 or 18 is when I released my first EP. So, and now I'm 26. So it took a long time to, and my stuff sucked really bad in the beginning. Like, even I even had stuff that I released, you know, in my 20s that I think sucks, you know? So it kind of just, you'll have stuff you really feel. When you with. dropped your first EP, was it like, um, you just recorded it with your phone or something no. how did no. you well initially I, I did like a lot of like acoustic like covers and stuff like that i barely knew how to play the guitar at the time and my voice was all over the place it was really bad uh -huh. um and they're still on youtube because i like to show like the all my cringe yeah i don't know i just that's what being human is you know yeah like, mistakes and is there like a project that you look back on that you're like dude i fucking like i can't stand this like there's like a specific uh, track even there's definitely like things that i i, I did this one album <laughs> Um, called the last thing I want is help and I I was in like a really dark place and there's some stuff I really like about it But I wish like I did certain things like better production wise and 
on my own, like performance wise and everything or writing wise. I was just like, that was when I was at like the lowest point in my life, I would say. And I was just drinking a lot and damn, it was like, yeah, super emo. You would uh, you go into the studio with like, no, that one I did. Um, I sent vocals to a producer from being at home, but I, that one, I wish I did better. Um, okay. But I think, uh, for the most part, um, everything is kind of like it's done, you know, and there's a, there's a song called repair too that I did that I wish I put more time. There's like, there's a couple songs I was just kind of throwing out there and I didn't really, they're, they're good songs, but I didn't really put all the time into. And yeah. it's like when I'm releasing like the newer stuff I'm doing and stuff, I'm trying to do music videos for it. I'm trying to put more money into it now and I'm trying to take it further and be really confident in it, I guess, and just happy with what the product is. And, you know, hopefully people uh, enjoy it so I can keep on, you know, putting that time and money into yeah the exactly keep it growing so because that's expensive so do you have a, like a specific recording process with your music now like do you go to a studio or do you still record vocals uh, in your room I, we have me and jake have like a producer that we use um mm -hmm. that we're friends with and they also do music so we started working with them and in the past i've done you know really expensive studios at one point and um but it's just like you know pretty pricey yeah. um, but for the most part i just uh i write the songs on my guitar in my room and or I use my ukulele. Wait, does the studio charge you per hour? Is that um, worse? I've never been into I one. do it is just uh, th there are some that do that, but the way I do it is it's um just per song. So we just do like, and it usually takes like five or so hours just to get the song done, honestly, Damn. which isn't bad. Yeah, that's not way. bad. But I'll have the song written out the whole way, and like honestly, a lot of times I'll just write the whole song in my room on the guitar, and then I'll kind of see the vision in my head a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open to ideas. And I'll tell them artists that I, you know, want to take inspiration from and yeah. we'll just kind of take the basics of what I have and blend it into the concept that we make it into. And it's been really cool. And Zombie's doing really good. Dude, we checked the so streams. Good. It's at 400k. It's almost like 500k. Yeah, I really yeah, enjoyed like, Zombie. Was good. No, Zombie's fucking great. Uh, yeah. I I'm going to go to it right now. Pretty exciting. I never had a song do this well, actually. Why do you think it's doing so well? I think like the attraction from our youtube videos has helped him yeah a lot, but um, almost 500k yeah it's gonna hit 500k today which is cool because um Damn. before the song like my my streams were at like monthly like 40k yeah yeah, yeah he yeah, mentioned at, that and now i'm at like 120 so um, damn and i'm excited because the next song comes out in like a few days and i'm just like yeah wait, keep the role like I, yeah the, the music video i think is better to be quite honest i think i haven't watched music to this i like i don't know if you're the same this but it was a little more diy music video wise was it? um yeah but the the newer stuff i've been doing is a little more like uh full budget like okay with like you know that's like their specialty and stuff so i'm i'm excited to see how that goes and um i hope that people really like it and i don't know I'm do gonna, you have you dropped the name of the new one that you're gonna yeah, drop? it's called angel of death and it's just okay like, it's like about like um I don't know, wanting someone that, or something in general that's, you know, bad for you, but you're so desired to like get with it, you know? And it's like, oh, uh, yeah. It's just like, that's kind of it. And, um, where zombie, you zombie ever... is kind of honestly a very similar concept. I mean, it's just about like liking someone or something and like being like, um, oh, now we're listening to our song. No, no I was just okay. checking, like, cause I, 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 I remember the question I was gonna ask you, like, uh, do you prefer to use, uh, like, how many layers do you do for oh, your vocals? vocals? Yeah. Um, well, I've been inspired by this one artist named Elliot Smith, and he does a lot of, like, two-layer vocals. So mm, okay. um, I don't do that for every song on this album that I've been working on, but I've done it on a couple because it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of cool. You're fully independent right now? Yeah, I've always been independent. Would you so. be ever, like, open to sign to a label? or? Is... It's scary. Um, it doesn't, like... It's funny because now that I've been kind of doing better on like social media and stuff, people have like given me more attention with that. Mm -hmm. But it's like, well, I'm doing it on my own right now and it's doing well. So I'm kind of like, eh. It yeah. kind of, a part of me is like, fuck you a little bit, you know? Yeah, so. I say say independent because when yeah, you definitely. the label, they're going to take all creative control. Yeah, I don't everything. want them to tell me when I can release songs. I don't want them to tell me what necessarily I want to be. Because I, I think, I mean, it's cool, the, the help that they can give, but I also just want to be able to be, like, me, and, that's, and I want yeah. people to like that about me. And Nah, your fan base, bro, so. 500k already? Yeah, it's bro, awesome. you're doing more than people that are signed. I mean, that's like, real. Yeah, I think that's in, like, three weeks now at this point. About no fake streams, too. No, they're all fake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get how you live. Only fake you. streams. No, still, yeah. dude, my favorite, like, yeah, my favorite song of yours, and uh, does it piss you off because it pisses me off? Like, when people are like, my most streamed song and it's been my most stream for like two years now yeah. i'm like bro y'all move on bro uh, do you get that vibe yeah i think you can think of it that way but also it's like hey they like something that i did that's fucking 
cool. So like, I, I, no, no, no. Obviously that's true. Cause then, they, then they're going to say I'm bitter, but like you're like 2.1 mil on afraid. Yeah. And if that was here at all times, like at least you have zombie, like yeah. it goes up. Yeah. I, I need that, bro. I'm going oh, to do yeah. that with Hachiko. Oh, oh, you're saying for the song, like to pass something that's like one of your yeah, songs. Yeah. It just, like, yeah, it yeah, stayed it took, there. It took me a while. Like I had like one of my, my first song was called song without a name. I was like 18 when I released it. And, um, that one got to like 2 million views and like four or 5 million on YouTube. It was like a big oh, deal shit. for me. And, um, and I was like, I was at like a low point in my career and stuff. And I was like, even that with afraid and all that, those were out. And I was like, is that my peak kind of, you know, Oh like, shit. You know, but I just kept on doing things and yeah, you know, songs they just keep going huh? You'll keep getting better naturally. Hopefully, you know, and it's just like, you just keep on doing it. And, um, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. I think like, I would love to have like, you know, people always bring up the one hit wander thing or whatever. It's like, that's fucking sick. Like, you think so? Yeah. Cause like most people don't have a hit. Like, that's true. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I never heard that. And, and that yeah. shit can like, you know, uh, secure your life for like a, forever. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you could be living off the Yeah. Years. I'm not going to be bitter about that. Cause like, if I had the opportunity to have a hit that got like a billion streams or whatever, and I could play it at any show and people are going to be so happy to hear it. And then I can make music because I'll have the finances to just do it. And people will still listen to those songs. Maybe they won't be as big. It's like, well, that's cool because I can still, you know, feel comfortability. To, oh, yeah. Yeah. To just keep on doing it. So I think there's a lot of um, awesomeness about that. So Okay. That's a, that's a great perspective. You know, you never, you can always pass it too. Who knows? Yeah. You never know. The next song could be your biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Going back. Cause I had a question about your touring. Um, yeah. Is there like, is there like a, like basically a moment that you can like think back on during your tours is like that stands out to you that's like like a memorable moment to you like mm, i've had some really shitty shows <laughs> i've had some really i heard you talk about on the, another podcast yeah. about your guitar stopped working because it the oh, battery or something yeah, in it yeah yeah when i i was doing this collab channel that was pretty popping at the time it was like called my digital escape and we did it for like a year and um we did a show we did a tour and it was like 500 people every show is really doing real well. Damn, like, 500 people every show? Yeah. It what was the like, fuck? Good. That's actually really good. the nation? Yeah. Oh, we did like a whole like um, US tour or whatever, like in a bus and everything. It was really sick. And um, I mean, we, we weren't really ready for it. I was like probably 19 or so at this time, but my guitar stopped working and I was really new to like playing music. Like that was my first time ever playing music live. I was like in front of all these people. I just played it off, but um. My battery was dead in my guitar, so I didn't know that. <laughs> it was like, yeah. I didn't. I you didn't said understand. people started like talking to you during yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Because they were just like, hi. Because yeah. oh like, <laughs> his yeah. shit wasn't working. Yeah, it took like 10 or 20 minutes to fucking fix it. That's it wild. But I, that happens to everyone. And also, like, it's kind of a cool thing. Like, you know, whatever. You gotta, like, yeah. have bad shows. I mean, I've had shows where, like, literally, I've had shows where I play, like, that many people or more or whatever or less and then i've had shows where i played like literally 10 to 1 people like because they're just like areas that no one comes out to or whatever. yeah it's just like, shit. so i've i've played okay. cool and it's like it, it does suck and it makes you feel like ah but it's also like really cool when you realize that's uh just something that happens and a lot of people that also become like really you know well known for their music or whatever their art is uh have also gone through very similar things and i think that's really cool so yeah a, a most like memorable memorable show you've ever done or no you're uh, just all of them are pretty good there no i mean a lot of them were bad um you don't have like your favorite one like that one i like I how that went i i had like no i can't really think i mean there was like one in like ohio i think or something <laughs> like during that time and it was like people were like not even able to fit in the venue i think oh wow that's, that's kind of a good problem that that's like good. such a cool there was too many people it was a big venue too and there was just like was that for uh, like a solo show i think that was the my digital escape tour as well oh. and um i thought that was really cool but i've had like like i did a couple shows of warp tour um which is like an alternative festival yeah. that's really well known and uh I, I was so excited i was really nervous as well and then the day of i got extremely sick and no fuck. but the cool thing about that is there was a lot of people that um there was a lot of people in general at the crowd for especially for that stage because i was playing the smallest stage you know it was just like oh it was like me and like little aaron and all these people like just you know popping on for a couple shows and um but there was a lot of people that i like did music that i really respected that were there and i thought that was really cool that they watched me and like even though i was oh, sick and, like, i pushed through and then there was like a lot of viewers and they're just i think as long as you're like authentic about it and stuff people will be like yeah we're human and i think that's really cool and they'll try to back you and were you, were you still uploading youtube videos during this 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. How was that? I remember when we it was uh, only it was only two shows of Warp Tour that one, but um, in general, like I mean, I wasn't posting as much. I was posting like yeah. once or twice a week at the most. I remember you said it was like a pain to oh, like for sure being on tour while trying to get some videos up. Yeah, like that's a big fear of mine is that because the YouTube stuff has been going really well and like yeah, I'm able to get the music recorded and the music videos that people are always like go on tour, go here, and I'm like guys, I post like five times four times a week right now like plus being in other people's videos it's yeah i'm gonna be able to do that and i feel like that would be kind of a disservice to a lot of my like audience because a lot of my audience isn't gonna be able to see me on tour even if i do it so i feel yeah right that, that's very true yeah so i feel really torn on it i hope one day i can like figure it out and um be able to do like a month tour and you know maybe not maybe just like once a year or something that'd be cool but i definitely don't want to be like touring all the time because it just what's getting me to this point oh shit see that's my phone no worries go on dnd um but what's getting me to this point is just being on like online so i feel like if i were to pull away from that it would be yeah kind of a stupid move honestly and that's what a lot of your core fan base is i'm assuming too yeah they, yeah yeah they don't want to leave their house <laughs> <laughs> damn he just dissed y'all yeah what y'all gonna do about it nothing they can't oh They're damn by the way speaking to y'all like bruh i'm letting y'all know like i gotta let y'all know like I hope you guys realize I'm real life friends with Johnny and Jake. Cause like some people are like, Bezos damn, not with them. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm real, like all oh, my red socks. I look goofy, but <laughs> yeah. Cause some, some people are commenting like tough was mean here. It's like, bro, like these are my real life friends, bro. Like we, they're not on a randoms podcast, you know? I'm only so. going to cry after the podcast. <laughs> it's not that bad. When I'm in the Uber going home, they'll be like, I was hey, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Wait, I just we wanted are, to make that clear. We are friends. Yeah. I fuck with y'all, though. Like, seriously, thank y'all for being here. <laughs> that sounded so artificial. We are friends. <laughs> and he looked at you. <laughs> but speaking of getting canceled, no, I'm just kidding. No. Speaking of... I don't think I've been canceled yet, like, legitimately. Oh, wait, because you canceled yourself, and I'm about to bring that shit oh, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, that, so, that's a good thing of me, though. I think that was cool. <laughs> yeah, we do, too. But on November 21st, I follow you on... I follow him on X, aka Twitter. So I saw this and I was like, huh? So word for word. Yes, sir. Nobody's brought the situation up, but I just saw a video from nine years ago of me doing the accent challenge on someone else's channel. Correct. It's offensive. I just want to apologize for this. I feel I've grown a lot and hope people keep proving that. I'm also going to, I'm also going to read these two. Yeah, you can read my grammar exactly how it is too. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel I should address this. I want to apologize to anyone I offended with that video and my part in it. I wish I could remove this video, but sadly, it's not on my channel. I just wanted to, I just wanted to sincerely apologize for my past actions. There's one more. Okay. I hope to keep proving my growth as a person. I'm sorry, and I'll continue to keep trying to do better and better. Thank you for listening. Yeah, I also did like a little TikTok video addressing it. So oh, did you? Yeah, that got a million views. <laughs> a million? Oh, yeah, it's don't. like, um, there's this... Yeah, uh, I should cancel myself more. No, <laughs> there's this like effect. I forgot the actual name. I think, is it the Streisand effect? Where like... Well, there's this effect and it's like no one would have known, yeah. but just because you talked about it, like a hundred percent people know about it. You know, you could have kept quiet. Yeah. I just probably would never 100%. been brought up. Yeah. And most people were telling me like, you didn't need to bring this up because you were like 15 in the video. And so pretty much what I did in that video is like, you know, the accent challenge is where you do accents. And I was doing like Asian stereotype accents and they were just like completely as offensive. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I just saw it like somebody posted a clip like with the reason why I saw it is because somebody posted a clip of it on TikTok. They weren't even like offended. They just posted it. And I saw it and I was like, yikes. Um, oh, shit. It didn't yeah. get any like it was like literally had like maybe 500 likes or a thousand likes, you know, it wasn't like. Yeah. Like, even saw it. No, but, what you did was really smart. It yeah. was really smart. Yeah. Yeah. I just felt like naturally I just wanted to do that. Some people were actually like mad at me for doing it and being like, oh, you're being too woke with this. You're being too performative. I'm like, there's no right answer for you, but this is what I felt like doing. So. Yeah, I see like a tweet. I have no idea who you are, but you really don't have to apologize for All trying right. to make accents, dog. And you said it was offensive and racist. I should apologize. Yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. I mean, mature decision. No, I think I think that was super cool of you. Yeah. Like, I, and the reality is too, there's like probably uh, other videos that in my past I've done after you know because I started when I was even younger than this, but um, you know, mainly the channel that I have now is like since I was like 15 or 14, and like a lot of the videos were way too you know sexual, like yeah, humor, like. Dude, um, the internet was so different back then. Yeah. yeah, and like I was young and stupid, and um, even in my early twenties, I was still freaking stupid. Honestly, I was still doing stupid things, and uh, I don't try to hide that. I just like feel like now, like I don't know. 
in my videos, my commentary videos and stuff, I really try to show that people can better themselves and it doesn't take away from the bad things they do. But, yeah, exactly. You know, what more could you want from somebody? And that's uh, the way I try to point it out. And that's usually where I try to end my videos as well. So, you know, it's cool that people vibe with it because it is scary to put yourself on blast for something that is not acceptable. But, you know. Yeah. Do you think like. Because this was uh, I don't know how to explain it because, OK, uh, I'll just compare this situation to another YouTuber situation. Oh, yeah. Remember when the whole sh like Shane Dawson, he still gets hate yeah. to this day. Yeah. Um, Because he did a lot of like, yeah, extreme, like to the point of blackface type yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, if you did that and then you try to self cancel, like guys, I did blackface. I'm sorry. Do you think it would be the same thing? Because yeah. that is like a crazy offense. Yours was accent challenge. Yeah. Do you, um. What do you think would the results think, be? I think that a lot of people would have more respect if he were to be able to be the person that put it out there first. But I also, obviously, it's a different thing, like we said. Um. But I also feel like uh, there's no like um. A lot of things that I think people do wrong when they do apology videos, etc., like mm -hmm. calling Ballinger and stuff, is they don't hit the um, topics on what they are. They just kind of vaguely address them. Yeah. True. So where I think that is like, true. People like Shane or Colleen actually went through each thing, no matter how bad they were, people would have a lot more respect for them because they're actually addressing what is being you know thrown at them. Yeah. And um, I think that's a lot of things that people don't do. So if like anything ever comes out about me or like that. You know, like an old video of me like doing something offensive or whatever i would personally want to handle in that way and i wouldn't want to hide from it and you know i'm aware that you know i because i know myself i did a lot of you know stupid humor i was being an asshole i you know still have moments where i probably do stupid humor to be quite honest with you um i try to be better but you know everyone's line is different on what's acceptable as well so it's a really impossible thing to necessarily like please everyone with but um I think, yeah, I think if people were to hit it like on the head and also if you're able to get to it before everyone else and like address it, then I think that's a respectful thing yeah, to do. It, it is respectful for sure. And you're right about when the YouTubers apologize, they usually brush it over like, yeah. yo, this situation isn't true, blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, what are you even talking about? Yeah. Like, uh, like dream or whatever. Yeah. Like, well, dream just uploaded the newest video. Well, yeah. when we we're filming this, uh, dream uploaded his one hour, hour and 22 minute response video mm -hmm. and he's kind of nailing everything we're not done with the video we're watching it as a group but um he's kind of he's kind of just like going through it piece by piece like calling out the girl is like yo these are the text logs look at these i'm putting them on the screen they're going on the screen right now yeah. like that's even if people don't want to believe because i don't know what to believe but it is a respectable response i will say that it is more respectable than like a casual tweet yeah. or like a fake cry at the end yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i don't understand the crying thing i mean I, I guess if it was like if somebody like brought up stuff that made me uncomfortable that i did or whatever and it was like on a live stream and it just all came at me then i guess i could see myself crying because i'd be so overwhelmed but when you film a video afterwards or whatever i, I yeah crying is a little i think you should be able to like yeah it feels fake in a uh, way yeah it feels a little performative but um i think yeah the dream situation is a little different just due to the fact of him like he is defending himself where in like situations that I, you know, I, you know, I'm dealing with or whatever. It's like, I'm kind of just being like, no, you're right. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I'm, you know, going to try to keep on doing better. And if you can't accept that, that's totally fine. But, um, yeah, but, you know, that's just like, what else could you want from somebody is. Yeah, that's true. Keep on bettering themselves. So like it also, yeah, but it also depends on what the offense they committed. No, 100%. Every Because imagine you get really different. talking to a minor, you're like, yep, yeah. I did it. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to fucking <laughs> oh, yeah. be every situation is so different. And like, you know, it could even be like, they're, they're all like different, like how they're done and everything. So it's like, you got to take it really situation by situation. So. It's true. Yeah. There's no rule book to any of it. So. So you've never been canceled, huh? Not legitimately. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say there's anything that's like too like, if, how would you handle if like, um, one of your mind though, I'll be honest. Like, is it, I, I mean, yeah, like it's like. Oh, did I like, especially since I've been online for so long, did I say something that's like unredeemable or whatever? Like, I don't mm. like me. That fucking sucks. You know, like, I, I would, it would what if that, <laughs> what if that happened to like, I've never actually asked a YouTuber this, but what if that happened to one of your friends in your circle? Happened. Like it happened already. Oh, yeah. I have, Ooh. Well, I was in a collab channel with oh. um, Austin Jones and he like went to jail. He wasn't a friend uh -huh. of mine though. I've only talked okay. to him twice, but, um, Oh, we Austin. Yeah. Wait, is that the wait? The guy that asked for twerking videos. Y'all don't remember that? 
Wait, you guys remember this? He's all over the news. I heard he Wait, done right. Wait, here. Yeah, yeah, he's he's still in jail. Oh, that's him. Yeah, he was like a he was in a collab channel with me. Oh shit. He was in. Um, wait, which channel was it? That was my digital escape. He was oh, like he was in it. Members. Yeah, I never like I only talked to him like twice or so. Okay, I remember. I only remember him because of that. I don't remember him being yeah. tied to that group. I just remember this case. Yeah, he wasn't in it that long, but um. Yeah, that was one. Um, Holy shit. Uh, I was on, to like, even, like, Warp Tour, I was on, like, the same bus as a uh, Front Porch Step, who was a musician, and he got, uh, he was, like, super doing well, and then he got um exposed for talking to minors as well, and, um, oh, oh dang. it's, yeah, I mean, or, like, you know, even liking bands that happen to end up, you know, get allegations, or YouTubers, like, you brought up Shane Dawson, like, Shane Dawson's someone that I really enjoyed his content when I was younger and stuff, and was a fan of, and it's really hard, you know, I think everyone... Everyone makes their own line and, you know, decision for how they want to handle these things. Yeah. And there's no rule book, like I said, but um, it sucks. I, I think it sucks a lot. I don't think a lot of people realize for like uh, a friend or a fan um, in general of people that go through these things. It sucks for them. They shouldn't have to be going through that. Like, you're right. That yeah. Sucks. Like they have to decide whether they can support someone or they want to give someone another chance or they want to like kind of like be like you know like i don't hate them but like the you know yeah it's, it's very tough so i feel i feel for the the fans of people that go through situations like that because that's sad it's really sad because these people help them you know and then yeah and then They're they like are, are damn stuff. i know even like pink the disco they got a lot of you know drama that oh really as well yeah i did not even know brendan that. yuri yeah, right, is that yeah. his name brendan yuri yeah brendan yuri he made some weird ass comments on stage yeah about what matters I think like yeah. almost racist comments. No, no. He well, he said he would do um on Vine. He did like uh like rap songs or whatever, and he would say the N word in that, like uh, mm. you know. Um, and then there was also uh him like saying uh pretty much something that sounded like a R wording, like joke on stage when uh, he was, like this was like a drinking phase of his career, but this was like in 2012 or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a weird situation. Like, I, I know for myself as a fan of his or whatever in the band, it was like, that's also like, yeah, that's fucked up. But also, like, all, all I could want to see is him better himself with that situation and stuff. So, I don't know. But Do you, do you separate the art from the music? Like, oh, see, they have, art, like, those uh, allegations. Uh, I think to a degree, kind of, but not really. Like, I think I'm aware of what the artist has done, so I can't really separate it. I just kind of... Uh, it does damage it for sure. Yeah, it's like, weird. Yeah, like, like, good song. It just good stain artist, it. And then hearing it, the it's really hard to like paint it all as like one situation though. Like we said, there's just too many different uh, variations of yeah like, negativity and stuff. So it's like I I have a hard time like generalizing it because it's all like different. You know, it could be someone saying something that's offensive, or it could be someone doing something that's not okay. It's like, so, yeah, dude. You know, I noticed that when I was doing research about you, mm -hmm. and I learned about my digital escape, our world's way. Yeah. And going from, it seemed like you, here's all I said. So you have, you mainly post on your main channel, which is yeah. just Johnny Gilbert, yeah. right? And since you were on these collab channels and now I noticed, even though you are on your solo channel, mm -hmm. you do collaborate a lot with Jake and there are some recurring characters like Tara. Yeah. And so I was noticing like, you really like being in like these groups. Yeah. Like you like having like these friends around you. Like, why is that? I think as a online creator like the only videos i'd be able to do without people like that would be like the commentary video yeah and i do enjoy those but they're really um draining and stuff and uh yeah I, it's honestly not the easiest thing i'm a pretty anti-social person so like getting myself to go and hang out with people and do videos was very hard initially and stuff and intimidating um but I mean, I think it's just kind of like how it goes. I think people like to see people play off people and um, yeah, have that group dynamic. Uh, I don't think I would ever do a collab channel again because I think that's a pretty toxic environment. Um, yeah, well, what, how's the money work in that case? I don't. I, well, to be fair, like the MDE one was managed by one person, and then that person was like pretty manipulative towards the situation. Uh -huh. That became like a a big drama sphere. Oh shit! Sure. Um, but with our world away we kind of did that as like a backlash towards it we were kind of like being like oh well fuck that channel we'll do it on our own and mm. did that for like a year and then we also we had like you know uh problems with each other that you know would happen like oh you're not posting enough or oh you're not doing this and oh shit yeah things would happen like that and it became like um oh there's actually like even without that person there still could be drama with cloud channel so i think the best way which i you know took from honestly like david dobrik to be honest which it's like he had the vlog squad, but it was everyone posting on their own channel. Yeah. So they weren't actually tied to like, oh, we're all doing this channel together. We just kind of were like, oh, we're friends. And 
I think that's like the smartest way to do it. Yeah, because you're responsible for your own content. Yeah, and like there's not, you know, nothing's really tied to each other. Like the way that Jake and I are doing it is really cool because like he's got his channel, I got mine, and we'll be on each other's videos, and that's it. And um, you know, like obviously if we were to, if me and him ever did a podcast together, that would be like something we'd figure out. But I think um, podcasts are still just two people versus like you know having a whole. Dude, if you guys did a podcast, that shit would bang yeah, y'all gotta get me on as a guest though oh yeah yeah no if we do one for sure that'd be sick um, all right nice we brought it up a couple times i i think when we're older for sure we'll definitely do it i don't know if we want to like if we want to just focus on youtube right now and then like yeah that'd be, like, it's like, the smartest just to focus on youtube right now it's the smartest thing just and then like the podcast will be like when we're in our 30s or something. <laughs> 30s like, on everything maybe you know Jesus. Are you calling us old? No, no, you guys, you guys are younger than me. You're younger. Yeah. I'm 26. Bro, I'm like 40. What you mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> You're probably old. I'm, like I'm 20s. I'm divorced already. Two kids. I think we're all, we're all 21. Like. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but, old. <laughs> You're not even that old though. Like no. 26 is this like. Is five years old. I. Yeah. I think you're old at 32. Why 32? Uh, okay. Because. Uh, you're 30, right? That's the three O. Like you're just like you're you're barely like. Oh man, I feel kind of weird. But then 31, you're like. There's just like different levels. I don't know. I feel like 32, you you're settled in actually. 31, you were like maybe it's my first year being 30, and 32, you're like fuck, it's like the second yeah. one. It's not even new anymore. It's going downhill from here. It's, well, it's not actually downhill, but it's just like old. There's just so many different levels of like, like uh, growing as well. Like when I hit like 21, I was like, oh, I can legally you know buy alcohol, I can smoke cigarettes, I can. I'm like an adult now. But then I become like 25 and I'm like, holy shit, I'm halfway to 30. That's yeah. Like but you, yeah. Know, you just see the growth of yourself like in so many like me from, you know, 22 or whatever. Or like, you know, obviously, when you know, you just see how much you get yeah. every year, I, every I, month. It's insane. I can't imagine how normal it is for you already because like and what I'm talking about is like looking back at your past because everything's been recorded, like every era of you because I, I have. Only two, I think maybe max three eras of me that I can look back on and be like, oh, I was on the internet this time. Yeah. But you have almost half your life. Yeah, I would have more if I didn't delete so many channels because I initially um, picked up like my camera and stuff when I was 12 or so. And I made like a old channel and I would do like Fred skits and all that Ryan Higa, all that kind of like content I was trying to do. Oh, she deleted them? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, even with the My Digital Escape stuff, all my videos on there like that are solo are deleted because... um. We wow. Had so much, we had such a bad falling out with the guy that I got all my videos deleted. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, there's definitely like a lot of content that's like not completely there, but there's still so much that's like out there at this point. It's insane. So, a lot of your fans probably grew up with you too, seeing sure. you so young. Now you're 26. Yeah, like, yeah, I get people that like say, like, oh, now my sister watches you and I used to watch you in like middle school. Oh, that's, oh, that's so sweet. That's cool. Nice. It's cool. But it's also like, damn, my, my content's pretty perverted sometimes. So I'm sorry. You don't feel old? Like, damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't really feel like old. I started so young and I think that's just how it goes. I, I I think a lot of people didn't realize that I was the same age as them when I was like going on warp tour and doing my own tours. Cause I was like, I was doing those tours when I was like 17. Yeah. Like not the typical age to be leaving a tour, house, dropping out of school and doing Damn. That stuff, so. How long did you do warp tour for? Uh, I did two years um, as a YouTuber um, where I just met viewers and then we did one in the UK where I met viewers as well. And that was just a one-off show. But, um, mm. Oh, really sure. weird. There's an emo fan base in the UK. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought it was just like a US they're thing. Everywhere. Honestly, I think Germany has like a really like big emo fan base. Really? Like seen, yeah, from friends I've like toured there and shit. Um, oh, yeah, shit. Uh, yeah, like I did like about two years total of just like being on as a YouTube creator and just blogging and meeting viewers really as you know. It's a very weird thing to do as a 17 year old though. or And then like I think the other year was like 19 or 18, you know. You don't regret any of it though, right? No, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I think it's kind of cool. It's what I wanted. Um, yeah. Just like, just because you want something though, I don't know if necessarily if you should get it. You know what I mean? It's like, like, ideally, like, I know. It's probably not the smartest thing that I was doing that stuff, but I think it's kind of a cool thing that I was able to do that because I think in the long run, it's um, been a really like positive ex- like journey and experience. So, yeah. Whatever. I mean, it's cool. We have a series on uh we have a segment on this podcast called explain that gram that we didn't take from hot that we made up by the way we made this segment i don't even know what that is i don't know made it so i I actually forgot to write the dates down for this so you guys will see them on the screen so first off we have this image right here there you go that was like yeah yeah that's uh that's because uh i think that might have been before i got the tattoo no i had it 
I got like a Daniel Johnston tattoo. Who's like a musician? Where is it? Yeah, we learned about him in school. Yeah, Daniel that's crazy. Johnston? Yes, Whoa. in our psych, I start yeah, psychology class to he's learn a, about him. He's a very interesting human being. So like, yeah, I was like at a dark point. And I found his music, and I just more so I connected. Dude, to him I like s- human being. Oh really? And yeah, it's like personality and his struggles. I was like, wow, he's very authentically a human. I just think that's cool. I we saw a documentary about him, right? Oh yeah, the I think and Daniel Johnston. Yeah, I think something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I forgot about listening that. to his music, I have it on vinyl. Mm. Um, it's pretty eerie. Yeah, it's pretty like, whoa, like this kind of dark. Yeah. Like that's not some shit I'm gonna bump in the car with the friends, you know? Like that shit is eerie as fuck. Like, and he has this, like squeaky voice, yeah. almost like that Kurt Cobain song. That yeah, the beans. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, it's some weirdo shit for sure. Well, but Kurt Cobain actually like used to wear Daniel Johnson shirts, and that's how. Yeah, oh really? Big is that he wore a shirt with that character on it? I think it was like a white shirt. Yeah, yeah, with that character on it, and it blew up Daniel. And um, shit. Yeah, Daniel was a very interesting guy, and he he was very known for his uh, art as well. Like he drew that character, he drew a bunch of like cool designs, and it's just a very oddball guy. And I just related. To I that. definitely want to you know? re-listen. I mean, I have it on vinyl. I just don't, dude. I I you guys can't see, it, but I have a bunch of vinyls right there. Like when I started blowing up on YouTube, it was like late 2021. Mm-hmm. One of the first things I did was spend two thousand dollars on vinyls. Holy shit! That's all. That's what I did. I got. You got like forty vinyls. No, yeah, <laughs> I got like my expensive. my most favorite albums physical. I just had to. I, I fucking had to. So I got a f- a bunch of vinyls, and apparently the plural is vinyl. I got a bunch of vinyl, but mm. there's always some dude that corrects me. It was like, bruh, I don't care like that. Yeah, it's like fish. But, or is it fish? Is that one or or yeah? It's not fishes. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was deers. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, okay, next image. We have this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What <laughs> happened to your YouTube? This is the OG one as well, right? Yeah, yeah, I still have it. Um, your YouTube plaque. Yeah, it's like got a knife uh, cut. What the fuck it. happened? Well, there was like, remember the hot knife? I knew it. I fucking oh knew it. I God. knew it. I fucking knew yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to cut it in half. And I tried to. But <gasps> Why would you do it to your baby? And she knew what's not hurt. But this is kind of hard. Yeah, you can you can get. I don't new really one. know how to get a new one. So what? Just, yeah, so I just have that. It's one. an email. Like yeah. you can just email them. It's whatever. I mean, I said keep that one. No, that's pretty hard. Though. Yeah, that's pretty fucking but, uh, hard. I tried to cut through it. I couldn't get through the metal, so that kind of was. Dude, remember that? Fu- you guys remember the trending knife? Uh, the, yeah. the knife, the hot knife. I remember that a little bit. Yeah, bro, that shit was, was crazy, bro. Oh I my! I saw a video. Of some guy. Yeah, the video didn't even do well. <laughs> <laughs> really? So. <laughs> That's, oh, that's fucked. I would hate to do that. I saw that some video. Some guy got mad at, like, some guy. I forgot what. But he got mad at his neighbor for some reason. So he got, like, a hot knife and just, like, slashed all his tires. Really? Yeah. Was that for the hot knife challenge? Yeah, for the hot. Oh, well, no, he was no. mad, but he was like, I'm going to do the hot knife challenge on him. And he did it. Popped <laughs> oh, all yeah. the tires. I thought you were going to say that you cut him in half or something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, as soon like, it was in his parking garage. No, yeah. Damn. It was in his garage. Somehow broke into the garage and just popped all the tires with it. Damn. And. St- he could have easily just like actually just oh, stab yeah, them. Sure. Well, I think he he did it with like the rims too, since it was so hot, it damaged some of the rims. Oh like, it shit! Melted on. That's fun. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> One way to get at someone. Speaking yeah. of wait, speaking of cars, you don't drive yet, do you? No, no. Should I even end that sentence with yet? Should I just end it with you don't no, drive? I'll get it someday, maybe. What I, day I, though? Um, <laughs> yeah, I got it written down. Um, no, I want to kind of. I guess I just want to have my license. I don't really care about driving, you know. I oh okay. Be able to, like, be able to be like, yeah, I got my license. There you go. Like it's like. I, I did take my like um tests like or I was seeing some like online ones. I, I initially did go for my driver's test, but my um my eye I didn't realize was like kind of weaker in one, so I had to get glasses. Oh, oh get whoa! Yeah. Oh, um, but the main reason I didn't get it is because I moved out when I was like so young, and I just was starting to go on tours. And there's no need for it. I dropped out of high school, and then no. it was just, like I did not live a traditional life, and then I just kept on putting it off. And it's like oh, I should have gotten it by now, though. There's time. I just. Yeah. yeah. So you just use Uber, Uber Prime? Yeah, I just Uber or like you know passenger princess it. You know. <laughs> is that monthly bill like so high for the Uber, Uber bill? bill? Not really. Like really? I don't really leave that. The only place I go, like I mean, occasional things like this, and then like my producer, and that's it. You know. Oh. Uh, like, you're like a. Go, 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 mm. Expecting like it to be like ten thousand like or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's probably like a couple hundred. Like maybe like. Yeah. Four to five hundred, but like if you think about it, if you own a car, you still have to pay like so many like things for that as insurance, well. gas, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah. That is that, yeah, that is true, yeah. It's You're really right. Not Anything that beneficial at the moment for me to have one, so it doesn't make it that desirable. I'm about to but, sell my car, now. but a license would be nice. I yeah, don't go out that much either. Like unless if it's like, 
well, like one of the things we'll go out to do is uh, like going to a bar or whatever. And it's like, okay, well we're going to Uber in g- general to that. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to drive. Like, right. so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I will work on it though. Hopefully by next year I'll have it. Do you yeah. have like an ID at least or no? Yeah, I have an ID. Okay. I just like, I just, um, yeah, no, I just sneak into bars and drink. No, I'm just kidding. Shit. Um, no, sneak just kidding. Sneaking as a 26 year old. Yeah. I just want to like, I just want to have it so I could just be like, all right, it's done. I got that marked off. So, dude, next year. recently, speaking of IDs, like recently, I have not been getting ID'd. You know why? It's the face hair. Yeah. yeah. It's the beard. Yeah. You never thought of growing a mustache or a little, some, a little some peach fuzz or something? From like not shaving for a day, but no, I um, I don't think so. Really? Um, never? Maybe, would when do? maybe when I'm in my 30s or whatever, you know. Like, Shit. But currently, no. But I do, I, I, I am interested in trying it out someday. Okay. I remember um, my ex girlfriend was the type of girl to be like, all guy, all guys look better without facial hair. You need to shave, or you should shave. And I'm like, I'm only gonna do this to show you how fucking ugly I look. I did it, and you know what she said, "You're right." <laughs> I was like, I'm not even offended. I fucking knew it. I think some like facial hair is really cool. Like, I mean, like Johnny Depp with his little like facial hair. I like that. Oh, that. Oh yeah. So, you know. You know, I know he's a controversial guy, but his mustache and shit was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Like, dude. But, but I can't rock fully shaven. You heard I, that, Avina? Grow facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just can't. Like that bitch. I'm just kidding. No. Can you or no? No? Oh. Shit. I can grow it, but it's mostly like, I don't really grow it on the sides as much, but I grow it like a goatee practically. And you never see like your comments be like, do you, if, if they see some a little bit of facial hair on you, do they say like, oh, keep it going, or do they actually do be like shave? Oh, it's a bit of both. It's a bit of both. Really? I think, um, depends. I don't know. I've really tried mm. it too much. The most I've gone is a couple of weeks, and then it like kind of doesn't look that crazy still. Like it's like it's there, you can see it, but it's not like that crazy. So I haven't really given them enough time to be able to judge my facial hair. You know, when you're, you say like you're gonna try to grow facial when you're thirty or in your thirties, um, would the hair change? The color. Or no, the style. Like when you're style. 30, rocking this type of hairstyle. I I'm, I, I've I've done like a couple times where I parted and stuff. Um, the problem is, is like I would love to pull back my hair, but my forehead's so fucking big. Show us yeah. right now. Forehead. <laughs> forehead check. It's not big. That's a normal forehead. Yeah, but like probably gonna style. I guess. It, I guess it's on the bigger side. Probably I because people are used to it with it being laid I down. Need to get like um, I need to get like I don't know something to make my hair go down, like some surgery or some shit. But go to Turkey, yeah, get a yeah. hair transplant. Yeah, I'll vlog it. Um, it sounds scary though, so I don't really want to do it. You know what I mean? But it's painless. I heard there's this one podcast I watched. They had a horrible hairline. They got the yeah. follicles from the back. They said it was a painless procedure. Yeah, I kind of want to do it, but like also like I don't. So we'll see. I maybe one day. I'll do yeah. It. But if I do, then I'll probably pull my hair up a little bit or something. Like try it out. Yeah. But I think with uh, I just really like long hair. Like I like uh, a lot of characters in movies that have like the emo long hair. Like yeah, hair right. Shit. I just think they're cool. So do you have like a when you style your hair, you put product and do you blow dry it? I used to be a little more like finicky about it where I would like be like really like uh, it needs to be this way. But now I just kind of whatever with it. Um, I just keep on let it grow. But I uh, just hairspray mainly. And like really? Okay. A little bit of hairspray and a little bit of like just combing my hair back, which is called teasing it. Oh, okay. Teasing it. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes I straighten it. Usually I don't have to straighten it too much anymore because I like kind of killed it. You're you're naturally blonde, right? Yeah, you know. it's a big struggle of mine because like the top of my head will like randomly start turning blonde. My roots will look like I'm fucking balding. At least like with the black hair dye, you just put the dye on. Like imagine yeah. vice versa. Yeah. Like you would have to your scalp would be fo- so damaged by now. Oh, you wouldn't have hair. <laughs> yeah, so that is a problem though. I do hate being blonde, but I, just, I don't I don't think there's anything I can do about it. So kind of screwed. I, I used to be blonde when I was little too, and then it just started turning brown. But yeah, it's slowly right. coming back right here. I'm, like, I'm I hate it. That to happen. I've seen that happen to people where it turns like a dark brown, and I'm like, please, at least give me dark brown hair, so like it doesn't make my roots look like you know I'm balding. Or <laughs> yeah, I don't want blonde hair. I hate blonde. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I don't really know what to do with it. So, dude, I had blonde hair for a little bit, but it just got so annoying with the fucking maintenance and shit. And even every time I would shower. I'd literally be pulling just huge clumps of hair out. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. Dude, like, it was just... I beat the Peppa Pig game the other day. Put the... You say you beat the what? Peppa Pig video game. That's a video game? Wait, yeah. I, I think you posted. Platinum. I got a platinum trophy in it. You're beautiful. On what system? PC. What the I was fuck? streaming, and I randomly like was like, I'm going to buy this Test, game. test, test. So I bought it. $25. Wait, what's the point? Like, what are you doing in the game? Oh, it fucking sucks. It was the most miserable thing ever. Uh, it took two hours to beat. What? No, Peppa Pig game. <laughs> yeah, it's not a comment. It's not a genuine game that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go game the Peppa Pig game, but you know. 
Do you, do you like do you play games usually or no? I uh, mainly like unfortunately play Fortnite. Fortnite. That's kind of oh really? Lie. Yeah, that's where I lie at this point. Um, there's a. Uh, I, I, I've always been like a big gamer like I have a GameCube tattooed on me That was like a big system mine when I was younger and uh, oh nice I uh, you know 360 I loved like but now that I'm like older there's like just I don't know like I there's so many games and a lot of them are very similar at this point So yeah. I just kind of stick with like Fortnite. It's just been the one that I've and it's simple too But yeah, and you, there's, do, like, every you play on PC, right? Yeah, PC. Yeah. Nice. All right <laughs> for our next image. Yes. Oh Yeah, this right here. Yeah for some reason I think this was like wow! I look so fucking like I look like a vampire. This is 2018, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was like 2018. I lived in Anaheim at that time. Um, I was doing mainly vlogs. This is kind of around the R World Away thing, and uh, I was just dyeing my hair like every couple months because I think I became like addicted to it because my videos that would do really well were me dyeing my hair. So I was like, I'm gonna keep. Oh yeah, like dyeing my hair drunk, dyeing yeah, my hair high. Oh my god, yeah, I would do shit like that, <laughs> and it was um, I just dyed all the time until like I killed my hair pretty much, but I did dye yeah. pink. It honestly looks pretty good in that. Where part. are you in this image? This is just my apartment. I was just oh, okay. Upstairs. Um, yeah, it's yeah. There's not really much to say. I just I I, I wouldn't do it again. Yeah, he was wearing a supreme you know? like the, cross shoulder bag. Yeah, it's just the camera like on me. That's when I was doing the you know David. Wait, Dubrick are you not wearing socks? Uh, I think I was wearing low ones, like low, low socks, like the like low the cut ones. ones. That's crazy. Yeah, I hate. Do them. you still rock no, ankle socks? No, I wear like the long okay. socks now. I love long socks. Yeah, I used to be such a hater of them, but now I love socks and I love boots. It's <laughs> fun. Oh my god, showing off ankle is crazy. Yeah, I, know. I was a little slow. Oh yeah, here's our last one. <laughs> yeah, this is my first photo. Yes, I was randomly at Disneyland, and. uh I was probably, God, I, I don't know when this is, 2015 probably, maybe 2014? I don't know, I didn't um, check, fuck. It's one of those years, and uh, yeah, my sister helped me make an Instagram. I was just doing you now, and uh, took a picture of my Ewok backpack I bought with chocolate milk and potato chips. Damn. <laughs> Wait, it's actually just called potato chips? Yeah. What well, the fuck? It's like a Disneyland yeah. thing. So. Disney potato chips. Yeah, but that was my Ewok backpack, I really liked it. I like Ewoks. You lost cool. it or what? I don't know, I don't remember, but you know, it was cool. Damn. And I love chocolate challenge. Yeah, I cut it I cut it open with the hot knife. <laughs> yeah. He's been dead ever since, but yeah, that's my first photo. It's a pretty funny one. <laughs> Shit. You really do have like half your life documented. Yeah. That's crazy. Like yeah. that's yeah, that's so much. Yeah. Like a journal. A video journal. You never just wanna like cause yeah. I'd be having moments like cause I used to back in the day post daily on my story. Yeah. But now I like going on week long where I no one knows where I'm at. You know? I'm kind of more on that wave. I I would say I'm on that wave, but then I literally fucking post more than I ever have probably at this point. Um, I, I don't know, actually. I guess I'm just stupid. No, I'm just kidding. No. You guys ever um, get that thought? Because I get this thought, like, I'll post something, and then, like, go hit me later. I'm like, I don't want people to know when I'm For doing. sure. Yeah. You I mean, I've, I've had moments, like, where I'm a little more, like, in my head, and I've, like, privated every single video of mine except my music videos. Oh. Like, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm so embarrassed by it. But then I'm like, at this point, like, I have videos of me, like, doing the most... Like you, you know, like YouTubers being like, "Oh, my videos are cringe." My videos were awful, like yeah. unbearably to watch, especially in the beginning. Hmm. Um, the jokes and the just it was just very uncomfortable. Uh, but at this point, like I feel like if I like private them, I'm gonna private all my videos because I'm gonna be like, "Okay, well, this one, this one, this one, I'm just gonna become too tedious." So I just kind of leave them all up and yeah, I just say like, out with it. "Yeah, I leave them all up unless there's like something offensive that I learn about, and then I'm like, okay, I can remove that, you know, or cut it out of the video or something like, yeah, do that, but." I'm not really aware of anything currently. Oh, you know what you should do? Because I know you said, like, you're afraid of getting canceled because you don't yeah. remember quite... You don't remember everything. Yeah, like, there's too much. You know what I did? I, um... When I was... I think it was, like, maybe... La maybe earlier this year or last year, um... I We also used to make crude jokes and stuff like that, but yeah. I, I don't think I ever did it on the internet. But, um... What I did is I paid some of my Discord moderators. I was like, go through every single one of my videos. I'll pay you. Just tell me if there's anything. They gave me timestamps. It's honestly not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea, bro. They gave me timestamps, and then I was like, oh. I also just don't know how much I care because, like, I feel like I get what you're saying, but I also feel like if something were to come up, I would be able to like handle it, like a like just be like, okay, I'll deal with it now. Sorry, like I don't know, like I guess I know, but it almost feels like a ticking time bomb where you don't know. That's true. Like at least this one, you get them boom, privated. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad. It's not a bad idea, honestly. Yeah. I know. I'm sure, like, the internet will just let me know, though, too. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> that, that it's video, he gets canceled? Yeah. Oh, my God, <laughs> imagine. crazy. It's like, fuck, now everyone's going to be snooping for it. No, um, no, that's a really good idea, honestly. So, Since you have, like, music, streaming, YouTube, mm. 
Yeah, I know you guys did the merch thing of the was it the ladies? ladies. Yeah, America's favorite ladies. Yeah, that was a good one. That was cool. <laughs> is like merch another like thing you're gonna be you are passionate about, or yeah, that's just have, like leave it to other people? Yeah, I've been um talking to my friend uh, who used you know he used to do a lot of YouTube. He was like an OG with it, but um he's we're doing like a more custom pieces kind of, and maybe he'll send out CDs for me. But we're starting that up. It's oh shit. Like, I have this like really cool jacket that we're doing and like some pins and more like things that are, you know, like that. And then I'm, I'm still kind of doing my like print on demand stuff at the moment, you know? So yeah. I, it's just like easy. I don't have to deal with it. I just kind of get the designs made and people can support with that. And then, um, Jake and I occasionally are going to do shirts together. The Americans, America's favorite ladies shirt, which is like a joke because everyone calls us ladies in our, did that like, shit like sell the fuck out quick? It, it didn't, there was no limit on it. Oh, cause print on demand. It was a pre-order thing. So oh, it was just like we made it to the number, but it was only available for like a week or two. But it did very well, and um, shit, that was really cool. So, dude, yeah. the fact that you guys could sell merch on an inside joke is so it's fucking funny. yeah. We're doing crazy. a crazy one that we're working on right now called like the Tinas because people keep on telling us like Tinas and shit like yeah. that, and like, yeah, and oh, like, made it look like a band, I guess, like T-shirt. So. You know what I noticed that Jake does a lot. I don't know if you do it, but Jake just reposts a bunch of like quick edits yeah. and posts them on his main Instagram as a reel. And I think that's oh, you so mean, like, little stories like the photos, like the memes. No, no, no. Like on, on his actual feed. Oh, TikToks. Yeah. Yeah. He gets a TikTok and he posts it in his actual feed. Oh, yeah. no, I do that and I thought that was you do it as well. Yeah, so I, I see that. both of yours then. Yeah. So I think that's so smart it, because it, like as an influencer, I think we were stuck on that mindset of like, no, my feed needs to be clean, you know? But I think as reels and TikToks have been blowing up, you're just like, oh, fuck, I'll post anything. Some of them, like, viewers will, like, take clips from videos and they'll do really well. So what I'll do is, like, I'll repost their video on TikTok with, like, the repost thing and then I'll comment on it. And then um, sometimes I'll just, like, if I have, like, nothing to post or whatever, I'll, like, and I just want to, like, sometimes throw that stuff in, but I don't want to, like, do it myself. I'll, like, clip it. I'll, like, download the video and then I'll, like, you know, add them in it for, like, you know, to give them credit for finding yeah. the clip. And then um, I just post it and, like, I don't know. From my knowledge, that like, what more could you want to like? You know, it's like cool. Like, I'm sharing it and I'm giving you credit for like finding the clip. So yeah, I think they're cool with it. You know, um, yeah, they should, dude. So, you're acknowledging them. Yeah, like I'm just like, they're gonna cry out of happiness if I didn't acknowledge them. But like, since I like give them credit, it's like, you know, I just like to like it helps us grow. You know, like it's cool. Like people find us because of TikToks and stuff. So I just continue to do that, and it's been really cool. Going back to the merch thing real quick, I saw you posted a couple days ago, like a new jewelry piece, but oh, yeah. never take it off jewelry. Yeah. Do you have like a, a, a jewelry line? Yeah, yeah. They, they work with a lot of like alternative artists and um, I started working with them like three or so or maybe four years ago and they do like necklaces for me. This is one of my necklaces. It's yeah. just a cross one. i never seen like a YouTuber have that. That's crazy. Yeah it's, yeah, it's more of like a band thing like with those. They like work with like the emo scene mostly. Um. And uh, yeah, it's been cool. They just like kind of handle it all. I, I got a couple piercings on there and a lot of reins. And do you make um, the designs or you have some make? It? Uh, it depends. There's been a couple where like I've like come up with like ideas or I based it off of other pieces uh -huh. that I'm like interested in. Like I'll like Google like stuff that like fits my vibe. Um, or I'll just be like, I'm very open to like people's ideas as well. So I allow them to like, if they come up with anything, be like, yeah, bring that over. Like, cause I'm not, I'm not that picky. Like as long as it feels like me, you know, I'm, yeah. Like, if I like think it's cool, I think it's cool. So. You know, but yeah, that's been a really cool thing to work with is like have my own jewelry with that is really fun. So you did something. You did like a squid game thing, right? Yeah, Recently it was on. Yeah. Was it JC? Yeah, JC Kalen stream. JC Kalen stream. I, lost. <laughs> I didn't watch that. Well, that's fair. to be fair, like a lot of people just watch like the re-uploads on YouTube. You know, like I can't dude. I, the only the most recent stream I watched was Nicki Minaj on Kai Sinat's stream. That was so cool. That was I know cool. it was so cool. I know it was so dope. She's such a queen. So like <laughs> a bipolar queen. <laughs> so like watching that, like she took forever to get on. And like yeah. I felt Three like hours. Yeah, I didn't I didn't watch it until I saw clips on Twitter of it and then I came to uh the Nicki Minaj stream. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did the right way of waiting. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But um when it comes to like the okay so the people in the squid game thing i swear to, i saw a picture of y'all mm. and since i went to the parties you know i follow some of you guys now yeah well i followed you and jake way before but like uh i realized like bro it's the same cast of characters yeah like i are you guys a group of friends like well uh, it's more of like jake was in like a group called the cam boys and like a lot of those people were in it and it's like it was kind of like a collab channel like twitch thing but that currently just like that recently ended but they're still like friends and stuff um it's like jc's friends and stuff i don't i'm not super a part of that group like i started to get to know them because of jake uh-huh um but yeah i mean like the only person i really didn't know was like tana was in it which was really cool so i gotta be like, her tana mojo yeah she was in it huh. she did way better than us bro okay seventh place really yeah don't know what did you get 
I got 26. Oh, fuck. Out of 30. <laughs> but yeah, like, fucking rip. Do you guys have a subreddit? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't use Reddit. Like, oh, uh, shit. I know Jake has like, I think like a Reddit of some, some sort or something. I don't know. Like uh, like our own, you're saying? Or yeah, like, like, like Jake and Johnny or something. No, like, no. Dude, you guys should make a Reddit. I feel like you guys' Reddit could pop the fuck off. It'd be cool. I use like Discord. Like I have a viewer Discord and that's really oh, okay. active. So I feel like that kind of takes its place. Like, you know, like. Yeah. Reddit kind of. I don't know if my viewers would be super tapped in on Reddit. I don't know if that's like where my audience goes, but. I think the older ones would be in the Reddit. Yeah. yeah. Because exactly. they be having like intellectual. Well, some of them. Some of them. Yeah. A lot of them are toxic. Yeah. That's inevitable though. Like, yeah, that's true. Depending on your fan base. It's bound to happen. Like, so. You gotta have some moderators, but um, yeah, no, I usually just use Discord. That's kind of the place for my viewers. Okay, if they want to like do it off stream, and they also like alerts people of like when I drop merch or when I drop like a new video, it like post it automatically in there, which is really nice. I used yeah. to be like so active on my Discord, bro. Like I, at some point, it just became um, like my, like I would meet randoms in my own Discord. Right? I'd be like, oh, thank y'all for watching, whatever. Yeah. And then sometimes it'd be like, oh, add me as a friend. I'll be like, social. yeah. And I'll be like, all right, I'll add y'all. I don't care. And then I'd be getting texts like, hey, how are you? No, that's I'm fair. like, who the fuck are you? Wait, <laughs> what? No. So I had to like unfriend a bunch of people. And then like, I don't even go on there anymore. But like it happened on Instagram as well. Like mm. someone says, yo, yo, that video like is really dope. I, re I would respond like, oh, thank you, man. Like I know the thumbnail was fire, wasn't it? And the I have a conversation. Yeah. And then. The next day or something. The next day, they'd be like, good morning. Yeah. Like, no, I bro. I, yeah, it's like. It's, what the fuck? And then I have to, I, I go out of my way to click restrict. So they're out of the DMs. Yeah. But like, you ever dealt with that? You ever, like, yeah. Yeah. I would assume more so back in the day. No, yeah. I mean, you kind of learn from it a little bit. But um, I still have moments where I slip up or like, you know, even like going to parties and stuff. I'll get, I'll just be like, yeah, here's my Instagram. Like, I follow like almost 2,000 people on Instagram at this point. Because I just yeah. like, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. I don't care anymore. But. I used to be really stingy with it too, like following people as well. And like, I don't know, sometimes I'm like, why do I follow these people? But like, also like, whatever. Um, or like giving out my number. I'm like, ah, Dane, like, yeah, I, sometimes I just give that shit out too much or whatever, you know, or, um, yeah, there's just like a couple things like, but with like discord and stuff, like I was, I would talk to people and then they would get too comfortable and stuff. And it's just like, I just need to like learn for myself. Like, okay, you can like say like, thank you. Like when people like, you know, say something nice and stuff, but you don't want to like, you know, because I can't, I can't be everyone's friends. It's just not like possible. I don't have the time for it. I don't, you know, I don't yeah. like, like, it's just, it's tough. That's just the reality though. Um, so you just kind of learn and you just, yeah, literally, but like discord, I usually don't even really talk in there. Like I, I did for a while, but now it's just like mainly just nah, yeah. to stay updated with other viewers and, um, post memes. And as long as you're aware of like uh, the parasocial stuff, like, and you're like super aware of it, um, move away from it rather than lead into it. No, yeah, you that would be crazy. DMing fans back, nah, hell nah. The only thing I've ever like DM'd fans is like just like normal shit, like thank you and shit like that. Or if they're like yeah. depressed, like maybe back in the day I've like said like some advice or whatever, but like like you know trying not advice, but like trying to be like. But I don't really like. I've never tried to like have conversations really. That's like even when I started like younger, I didn't really ever do that shit. So do you have a or, PO box? I did like when I was super young, but no, no. I don't. If you guys opened up a peel box, now, I'm deal. scared of what they se will send, dude. Yeah, that. Yeah, also, no, I would be too. Also, actually, we already have so much like weird shit in our house. Like it's like overbearing with all the like Halloween videos and shit like that. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we don't like. If y'all want to send Jake and Johnny something, here's my peel box. I will hand deliver it to them. Yes, yeah, true. Then y'all can get a different video. They, call, they dead ass will. They will. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> no, <laughs> dead ass start getting shit. No, okay, no. But if y'all send them something you gotta send me some bro like you gotta that's all i'm saying yeah, give and then i will literally time. deliver it to y'all like i'll i'll drive over there and like then you guys can the next podcast so i was gonna be like all right about what i said i know uh -huh. dude that shit will be full watch no i'm not even kidding that shit will be right there on the screen i'm so down let's see what happens let's just see what happens i'm down He'll, he will give it to us um yeah no i i just like i don't know if i could take it on like it's cool like the idea of it it would be fun but I've also had some weird interactions with fans giving me some weird gifts. I've had some really beautiful gifts too. They're like, what's the weirdest what gift you got? I don't know if it's necessarily weird is the best word, but it's a little triggering. Like um, when I used to go on Warped Tour, people would give me like used uh, self harm oh. things. Oh, shit. Whoa, yeah, yeah. That's dude, I thought you were gonna say used condom. I, that's I, what I, thought I swear, I was like, no. Honestly, I feel like used. I don't know. No, probably. they would give you like the tools they use to do that. Yeah, like a a blade or something. Yeah. Wait, I, why is that like uh, a? It's it's because like. 
in their eyes, like, it's like, oh, you helped me, like, stop doing this. Um, they would do that. But it's like, that's like a huge reason I don't want a P.O. box is because yeah. of things like that. Well, then that's what you would say at some point. Like, well, at the beginning, you'd be like, guys, I have boundaries. Don't send this and this. Ideally, that would work. Yeah, I know. People don't listen. <laughs> I, yeah, ideally, that would work. But yeah, there's just like, and it's not me trying to be like an asshole or anything. It's just, you know, it's, I'm sorry. That's kind of a. That's no, that's a lot. It's a not lot. you're not even a dickhead for uh, that. That's just normal human shit. Yeah, like what like, the fuck? I don't know. I like I even watched like iDubs before, and like I think he said like people like because he would do like the unboxing PO box stuff, and people would like apparently start sending him like actual human feces. What? So what the- I'm just I like, remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like I don't know. <laughs> you you don't have I, you don't have iDubs fans or old school iDubs fans. No, I don't. He doesn't either. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You I like know, iDubs, but that PO box one day. I like I iDubs, know. but I had to say it. Um. No, yeah, I think I think it would most likely be fine. Like, I mean, I love like when Smosh would unbox like PO box stuff. Dude, I remember uh, was it? Uh, l- they also had the lunchtime with Smosh. Was it lunchtime yeah. with Smosh with the pixelated intro? Yeah, yeah, the little. Oh my yeah, God. dude, throwback. Oh. All right, speaking of gifts. Yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. No worries. What were you gonna say? I don't remember. It's so funny. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> speaking of gifts, I do want to give Johnny some gifts on camera. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab them right now. So I got some gifts for Johnny. Yay. So right now we have Earl Bear. Yeah. These are all sold out. So if you want some, too bad. Yes, but so I have one because I'm here. Yeah. So there's an Earl Bear. That one was released uh, during Halloween time. I'm going to throw know. in the back of my videos. He'll be like, oh, dude, please. Please, like, dude. And then we yeah. also have these slippers. These just dropped. Yeah, put them on my feet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what's, what, what shoe size are you? I think I'm like a eight. Okay, these are 8 to 12. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So They look like they'll fit. These are mainly for in-house wear because if yeah. you do wear them outside, his nose will get super dirty. Yeah. But um, oh, That's actually awesome. There you I go. actually really needed slippers. Yeah, there you go. Super sick. So yeah, if so. you need them, I have a little life hack. If you need them to shrink a little bit more to fit your feet, you could uh, wash and dry them. Yeah. I think that's Obviously on hot. Actually. So That's fucking sick. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. No problem. And then I do have a stress ball, but I don't know where it went. So. Yeah. Uh, I could give you that, like, literally when you're about to leave. That sounds great. But uh, usually the stress balls uh, are just free gifts. In the Whenever I would ship the bears out, I would put a free stress ball in there. What I tried that? selling the stress balls alone, and no, no one <laughs> wanted them. So I was like, okay, free gifts. Uh, what website can we get these? Earldoesn'tExist.com. Oh. Make sure you go check out. link down below? Of course. Oh, of awesome. course it is. Right now we just have the slippers at uh, slippers right now. Yeah. But we're planning on doing a Christmas sale. So make sure to tune in around christmas time hell yeah then you could get some percent off on the slippers Absolutely. but i guess uh that's really it for this podcast do you have anything you want to say to them any last words um hi no i don't have anything <laughs> to say like i guess we'll you want to promote anything no i don't really care all right I could, but like i really don't care if you want to like you know type my name there you make go. sure you go stream zombie and his new song angel of yeah, death yeah. angel of death coming soon and check out tov's new song coming out soon yes hachiko january 1st 2025 <laughs> no, imagine 2025 2024 2032 and yeah so oh, this might be our last podcast of the year Oh yeah! Oh, oh, shit. Next one's in January. Yeah, thank y'all for an amazing year on the crew podcast. Appreciate you guys. I know real, that we went on a life. hiatus, but we came back because I have a house now. We had to level up real quick. Yeah, we had you know we had to stun some few people. So, just thank y'all for trusting the process and getting us to a point where we can get guests. And yeah. shout out to the guests. So thank you to Jake if you're watching this, and yeah. big thank you to Johnny. Thank you, Jake. No thank you, Johnny. Anytime, thank dude. you, Jake. It. Johnny. Yeah. Thank you for real, for real, bro. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And uh, that's really it for this podcast. We'll see you guys next time we upload. Follow First High. Doing shady things at our corners, bitch. Puffy Clothing Co. Giveaway coming soon. Deuces. Peace. And the mischief from a purple devil. Eh. Double grand on there, homie. Know you're watching me. Eh. Number one recruit, homie. Know you're watching me. Eh.